You hired the wrong person? Learn how to avoid that in the future. The wrong person is someone whose work results will cause customers and suppliers to stop working with you. The wrong person is someone whose attitude and thinking and performance does not match the goals and the desired image of your business. We all know that hiring the wrong person costs you time and money and schedule and production and a host of other tangible and intangible resources. Career Builder tells us that the average cost of turnover hiring the wrong employee is about $17,000 each time. What if you had a way to avoid that? More importantly, hiring the wrong person is probably a symptom of not knowing how to recognize which personal performance patterns are required for best performance of each unique task in your business. What if there was a way for you to avoid hiring the wrong person? What if there was a way for you to know exactly how to recognize if an applicant is the right person or not? What if there was a way to attract the right people and avoid attracting the wrong ones? And what if there was a way for you to know how to keep your actual top performers motivated in such a way that they are not open to finding a job with another company? Hey, each of us has an alarm clock at task, and when that alarm sounds, we want to move on. What if you knew each employee's clock and also knew how to restart their clock so they would stay with you? The lab profile teaches you how to attract and recognize the right people for the job. I've got a solution for you. But first, let me tell you a little of my story. Because my work history, my education, and my consulting experience have put me in a unique position to teach you exactly how to hire and keep the right people every time. I'm Roger Bailey. Since 62, when I graduated from high school, I've worked and consulted and taught throughout the Americas and Europe. In 62, I joined the U.S. Navy as an electronic technician and served until 66. After the Navy, I worked at IBM from 66 until 1980, when I left to start my training and consulting career. At IBM, I started as an electronic technician, repairing card punch machines, and I ended up as a senior programmer analyst, working on staff to the director of IBM's most popular 360 mainframe operating system. It was called Virtual Machines. During those years at IBM, I also earned a BS in anthropology from Fordham and an MS in counseling from Bridgeport, and I have extensive additional postgrad studies in linguistics. Even with that experience in education, how could I possibly have information about how to help you avoid hiring the wrong person? It's because of my computer hardware and software experience, my academic studies, and my work in linguistics. All of my education and my work experience help me understand how our human brains are operating like like computers. I've developed a model, a process, a system for understanding and predicting human behavior and performance in the workplace. It's called the Lab Profile, the Language and Behavior Profile. The Lab Profile helps managers hire the right person and then train, motivate, and influence them so that they deliver the needed results and keeps them and their customers happy and productive. Let me give you a peek under the covers of the lab profile. Every time a person speaks, they give us clues about how their brain operates. These clues show us their functional brain architecture. For instance, we know that some folks focus on what is working and other folks focus on what is not working. Toward and away from are the common labels for this particular set of brain functions. Toward folks tend to notice what is working correctly and they gloss over minor functional faults. Away from folks cannot stop themselves from noticing and reacting to what is not working correctly. Toward folks are great in design and production of products and services. Away from folks are best in maintenance and quality assurance tasks. Best practice is to put these two kinds of folks in task appropriate for how their brains work. Some folks must follow procedures, and if they don't know the procedure or the procedure is broken, they're stuck. Others are always searching for options, and they tend to be the ones who can fix broken procedures. Procedures folks are best at jobs where following the procedures is the task. Options folks are best at jobs where fixing or improving procedures is the task. Internal folks must decide for themselves. External folks need others to decide. Organizations generally need internal folks to be the bosses, and the external folks need to follow the bosses. These examples represent a small sample of Lab Profile 17 categories of thinking and behavior. And these example patterns of thinking and behavior are only six 
of the 54 patterns you learn when you learn the complete lab profile. And of course, many managers know this way of thinking about task and have the intention of finding and managing folks for task based on that person's normal, natural tendencies. And many other managers are not aware of these lab profile concepts about brain function and behavior and do not yet know how these normal human tendencies affect their business results. It's really simple. We humans are good at things our brain is best organized for, and we have difficulty doing the things our own brain is not organized for. Toward and away from are relatively simple to understand. Some folks' brains pay attention to what is working, and others pay attention to what is not working. So in the lab profile, I use toward and away from to refer to these type of folks. Most folks are either motivated to get to the proper solution toward or to avoid an impending failure away from. And of course, in your organization, most tasks actually require one or the other of these two performance capabilities highlighted by the lab profile. When you're in a hiring or recruiting mode, you need to keep in mind which of these motivational tendencies you're searching for. Am I hiring for production or for quality assurance? And of course, what about the other brain function characteristics needed for that same task? In the lab profile, toward and away from are two patterns in the category of motivation direction. The lab profile has a total of 55 patterns across 17 categories. And of course, if you're going to hire the right person, you will have to be paying attention to more than only one or two sets of patterns. I know that this sounds like a very complex approach, but it's really quite simple. I teach you an interview, which gives people to reveal all their patterns across the lab profile 17 categories. This only takes about 10 to 12 minutes, and upon completion, you will know this person's patterns. The lab profile interview form is a single page, which gives you all the questions, and which shows you all of the possible patterns, as well as a place to mark which pattern shows up in the person's response to each question. So you can learn how to identify a person's pattern in the lab profile interview form gives you the questions and makes it easy for you to keep track of this person's patterns. But how do you know which are the patterns you need in the people you want to hire? Actually, this is a really simple part. You interview all of your best performers at a particular task and find out which lab profile patterns are most common among those good perform. Then you attract and hire more folks with those same sets of common lab profile patterns. If you're building a new team, you may not be able to know which patterns you need for your new team. If so, find some other team with similar objectives in your organization or in another organization and profile those people as a starting place. Maybe you offer other team managers information about what lab patterns you find in their teams to help them out. Maybe you are asking yourself if it is possible for your best performers to have a common set of patterns. When you look at the patterns of your top performers, some of the patterns are not common across that whole group. But these patterns, which are common across your top performers, clearly shows you which patterns are required for top-level performance at that task. And those not-so-common patterns scattered around your top performers are simply the indication of the uniqueness of the individuals in that group. Each top performer will tend to have those common patterns, which gives them the top-level performance at that task. If you also interview those who have not performed at top levels in the task, they will give you fewer of those common productive patterns. So with that information, you will start to understand more clearly why those common patterns of your top performers are what is required for top level performance at that task. For each of the patterns in the lab profile, there's language which motivates and influences people with that pattern. So if you need to attract replacement or additional folks with that successful pattern set, you can describe the task, including those words and phrases, and folks with those patterns will respond. When it is necessary to hire more folks at that task, you can be working with your own standards showing you which patterns are needed for top-level performance at that task in your organization. You can simply follow your own successful people recipe to improve your hiring success. The successful people recipe. You interview your applicants and look for those patterns which are common with your existing top performers. Those with those desired patterns will be the best fit for best performance at that task in your organization. Managers need to know how to hire the right person and avoid the wrong person. The lab profile helps you do that. It teaches you how to recognize the thinking and behavior patterns of your top performers in a task. And it teaches you how to attract and recognize applicants who have those needed patterns. The lab profile around the world. 
You can do a LinkedIn search for Lab Profile to find others teaching it. Those who are teaching it learned it from me or learned it from others I have taught over the decades. These books were written about the lab profile, or they include whole chapters devoted to one or more of my lab profile patterns. These are a small sample of the companies or organizations which have brought me in for lab profile training or consulting. Your employees who have customer contact are the face and the image of your business. You will struggle to achieve your business outcomes if you have the wrong people in those key customer contact positions. With a lab profile, you and your hiring and management staff can learn how to recognize which traits are needed for each task and which prospects have those same traits and which don't have them. You can also use the lab profile to learn how to achieve the best results from each of your existing employees. The lab profile is simple to learn and becomes a great way for you and your management team to understand and achieve the culture and performance you want from your whole team. And over time, the concepts and patterns of the lab profile can become the common way of talking about and describing on-the-job performance for you and your whole management team. Your lab profile training program is on a permanent online platform, so you can have your managers develop and grow their lab profile skills as your business evolves. And they can review lessons to help them retain their lab profile skills over time. And over time, The concepts of the lab profile will become an integrated part of your management's culture of success. It becomes even easier to understand what works and what doesn't work in your business. And you will have a roadmap for knowing how to get back on track when things go off the rails. To know more about the lab profile and how it can help you stop hiring the wrong person, and how to help all of your managers improve their productivity in other ways, click the link in this video's description.